just picking my buddy up, Eric Byer. He flew all the way in from Houston. <laughs> to go diving in the keys around a lighthouse. And I got a little lost. It's a little gnarly. I got a little lost at this uh, wonderful, fantastic airport. Good to see you, man. Hey, how's it going? We're here. We're going to go on an adventure. Big Pine, and you see the sign? Always read the sign and adhere to the policies. These little deer are native to Big Pine mainly right here in the Keys. They're nowhere else in the world. And the really cool thing about them is they're protected, they're endangered, so you're not supposed to feed them. No stopping on the road, so we didn't stop on the road. We pulled off on the side of the road. If you see them, just observe them. You can talk about them and video them, but make sure you follow all these things that are on the sign here. Very important. All right. Let's keep going and look for there's more maybe key deer around here. Guys, guess what? We just saw a key deer in the keys. Check it out. Right there, he's just chilling. Nice little key deer. Hey, little buddy. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Look at him, he's cute as a kitten. Wow, look at his little face. Right here on the side of the road, more key deer. Check it out. Hanging out, guys. Hi, guys. All right, that's cool. Hey, so we just pulled off on the side of the road at this place called Crocodile Lake. And me and Eric were hoping there was crocodiles here, but there isn't. But it's still real cool. I'm gonna go take a walk through with the camera and show you this little spot. I guess it's a butterfly sanctuary, which is kind of cool. So it's just another part of the keys on our adventure on the way down. So let's go check it out. And this is pretty much it. Real pretty trees. Real nice. Look, we've got a little mangrove tree growing here in this little fancy pond. And I guess there's butterflies here that um, are attracted to this type of plants they have planted. And as you can see right here, it talks a little bit about the butterflies. It's kind of cool, some information. Some really neat trees. And over there is the, that's the end of the path. But for those of you out there that enjoy butterfly sanctuaries, this is actually really nice. Right off the beaten path, how cool. All right, we're gonna keep going on this adventure and see where we end up next. We're on a, we're on a wild adventure. We've seen a lot of cool stuff, me and Eric, I'll tell you. This is neat, yeah, check it, check it that out there once too, Eric. It's cool. So I'll we'll film you real fast if you want to say anything else about it. Go ahead. Now this is beautiful. We're heading over to No Name Key. All no right. power, no electricity, no nothing over here. Now that I didn't know. So, so this is uh, completed in what, 1880? Yes, this was built up in New Jersey and then brought down here and it was completed in 1880. There's the last of six lighthouses built along the Keys. Gotcha. And, um... This is a little better view of the lighthouse here, as we're getting real close up on it. You can see birds nesting. It's a good habitat for birds. Um, water, like I said, is real clear. We just saw a nice nurse shark out there. And so, oh, don't go to the left though. Go to the left, go to the left. There's a big thing right here. Go way to the left, way to the left, dude. Way to the left, get out of here. Or back it up, actually. Yeah, yeah, don't go on there. Yeah, you don't want to go on that. Yeah, keep so going that's back. The, uh, that's what got knocked down in Irma right there. Wow, look at that structure. That's the structure that got knocked down in Irma. Yeah, guys, we're lucky we saw that bugger. It was probably in like one foot of water. But uh, that's part of it that Irma knocked down. This is, that was the, probably the platform, I guess it was? That was, it was a four leg platform out here for, uh, you know, landing materials and food and stuff like that when people lived on here. Wow, that is amazing. You can see the ladder where it broke. Some of the windows broke it out. The glass up there on the light is broken. And imagine from 1880, there was never any damage to this at all. And one storm in probably over a hundred something years hit it and did all that damage. And this thing, it's pure metal, except for probably the inside I've been told. It's uh, 
It's got a wooden inside and actually has termites in it. <laughs> I guess the termites sto uh, stowed away, so what uh, Eric told me, and uh, took over the inside of that building. Boy, look at that, that's a big one. You can definitely tell it was built back in the 1880s. It's a lot different than some of the newer lighthouses, but boy, this is a real neat one.